hospital has been allocated 500 million shillings. Patrick Amimo, KTA News. Well, let's now bring in the Acting Director General, Ministry of Health, Dr. Patrick Moth, uh, joining us for a quick conversation, just responding to a number of questions that have been fielded, nagging, nagging questions really around COVID-19. Thank you very much, Dr. Moth, for joining us here tonight on K10 Prime. Perhaps uh, we can start with the latest, uh, one of the most recent directives by the government or measures by the government, reopening of restaurants. It has elicited a lot of reaction. Why restaurants? What influenced this particular decision? Thanks, Akisa, for having me this evening. Uh, this decision was arrived at based on the fact that uh, not many Kenyans could be able to carry food from home. And of course, not many Kenyans could be able to afford to go home to have their meals. Food is a basic right and a basic need for everybody. And I want to appreciate our courts who have been able to use technology to be able to dispense justice. And also our church leaders who have been able to give summons using these same platforms. Mm -hmm. However, I'm here to see somebody who can be able to eat through Zoom or any other technology platform. Uh, so then, uh, quickly, I'm not sure I got you very clearly, but uh, how then do we ensure compliance? There have been questions around, okay, you've talked about operators being tested. How often will they be tested? Um, is it a one-off thing? And if so, then this means there will be loopholes in this entire process. Thank you. We have developed protocols and guidelines for opening of the hotels. Uh, and these protocols and uh, guidelines are very stringent. Based on the direction, directive that we issued, no hotel will be opened before you are subjected, subjected to a thorough inspection and scrutiny of your premises to see that it meets the guidelines that we set, we set in place. On, on top of that, of course, after we license you, we shall be able to carry out random spot checks to ensure that you comply to the standards and guidelines as issued in the document released by the ministry. Okay. And in, any deviation from that, of course, will lead to the closure of the premises. And of course, the necessary legal action will also be taken in line with Public Health Act, CAP 242. All right, great. So that, uh, sorry to cut you short, how often do we expect to see these hotel operators, uh, you know, uh, tested? How often will we see this happening? Initially, the testing will be done after every 14 days. But because this is a new disease and is a, a daily moving target, as more information become available, that shall be able to guide us going forward as to the frequency of the testing. Are, are hotel owners paying any amount of money, um, you know, for their employees to, to be tested constantly, like you say, after 14 days or if there will be any review? Yes, as uh, uh, discussed today with the, between the Cabinet Secretary for Health and the delegated team in the House of Parliament, this will be an, uh, uh, a subsidized charge of about 2,000 shillings for every test. And you know how much this test costs in the private sector. Mm -hmm. We're now talking about uh, Senegal and their $1 rapid test and, you know, um, how helpful this has been so far. What are they doing differently? Is this something that would be achievable in the country? Thank you for that question. Kenya currently uses a test called the polymerase chain reaction. This basically means you take a specimen from the nose or from the throat, pick a small piece of the virus, multiply it in the lab, and then you plot a, grow, a graph of how the virus particles is growing against a, t a specified time frame. This is the gold standard that is recommended and approved by the WHO. The test that Senegalese developed, and we applaud them for that, 
is called an antibody-based test. Antibodies are proteins that are produced by the body. When the body comes into contact with a foreign particle called an antigen, However, it is not within its uh, own pitfalls. One of them being that, that most of the patients produce antibodies towards COVID-19 after 14 days, meaning you lose critical time when you can be able to carry out very critical interventions, including isolation, quarantine, and contact tracing and therefore limit the spread of the disease. Mm -hmm. Number two, these antibodies are also not specific. Coronaviruses are a group of a multiplicity of viruses, some which cause co common cold, and there will be a cross-reaction. Therefore, you could be having coronavirus that causes just a common cold, but the antibody, because it is not specific, will label you to be COVID-19 positive. Mm -hmm. The third pitfall of using this rapid test is that those who have lowered immunity, like say you have had a kidney transplant and you are taking medicine to suppress you from rejecting the kidney or you have HIV or you have malnutrition, they tend to have a very mild antibody production, if not no antibody at all. So you could have the infection, but because you are producing minimal or no antibodies, then you'll pass the test, yet you could be having COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Then the, the fourth pitfall of this test, of course, is that even those who have had the antibodies, our research has not shown that actually the antibodies are protective over the long period. Thank you. So then, uh, but quickly, before we take a quick break, what then is the status of our own rapid testing? We've been talking about it, but even today we have a report on challenges already being experienced in areas like Mombasa and Kilifi. What is this, our status, quickly, of uh, rapid or mass testing, if you like? What our main challenge has been with the supply of the sample collection kits that we use to be able to pick the specimen from the throat and the nose. And I'm happy to inform the country that uh, yesterday we received 4,000 samples. Today we have received an additional 11,000. And tomorrow we commence mass testing in Nairobi, Kawangware, and in Mombasa, Mvita. And therefore, by Saturday we shall be able to have the results of this test, meaning that we are going to ramp up our testing because of this additional capacity that we have in place for now. Dr. Amok, please stay with us. I'd like us to quickly take a short break here on KTN News. We still have a few more questions for you before we let you go. Dr.